Accessible by ferry from the west coast of Scotland, the Isle of Bute has an important history since ancient times and today is a popular tourist destination. It recently became newsworthy with the happy welcoming of Syrian refugees to the island and for the discovery there of a first edition of Shakespeare's works, with the publisher's handwriting still clearly seen in the margins. That publication and many other treasures can be seen at Mount Stewart, the architect Robert Rowan Anderson's Gothic Revival country house masterpiece which he created for the third Marcus of Butte. Built in 1879, Mount Stewart was the first home in the world with a heated indoor swimming pool and it was the first in Scotland with electric lighting, central heating, an elevator and a telephone system. The European travels of the Third Marcus of Butte greatly influenced its decoration, including that of the ornate marble hall at its centre. He owned great coal mines in Wales and also the dock at the port of Cardiff, just when the Industrial Revolution itself gained full steam. This generated the wealth that made the construction of Mount Stewart possible. Our team's mission at Mount Stewart was to conserve a Russian icon that the Marcus had given to his wife Gwendolyn for their silver wedding anniversary in 1897. It resembles traditional Russian icons having a reza or robe of silver to protect the painting, that silver being sculpted in relief as well as being engraved and stamped decoratively. It isn't traditional in that the painting was done on a metal plate, most probably zinc, rather than on a wooden panel. And also, that paint is evidently oil-based paint rather than the traditional egg yolk-based paint. Stylistically, the painting is more European than Byzantine, a shift that had been encouraged under Tsar Nicholas I. Measuring 5 foot 8 inches in height and width, it required a considerable amount of silver. Its inscription states that it was made at Russia's imperial factory in Moscow with the special permission of Tsar Nicholas II. He was known to believe in the power of the icons to perform miracles and in order for the icon to be delivered to Butte, his specific approval was necessary to circumvent Russian restrictions which applied to the export of icons. The painting may have been made in Moscow, but the silver bears the hallmark of the city of St. Petersburg, along with the stamp of its maker, Alexis Nadskin.
after conservation treatment, it is now more easy to read the icon's depiction of the marriage at Cana and Jesus' miracle transformation of water into wine. However, while the icon's transformation was no miracle, it was a technical success for Augerson Art Conservation. <laughs>